drinking to that. All right, kind of like margarita. What was the question again? Welcome to the Ventura Rock Spot. Each episode, we're going to be highlighting musicians in and around Ventura County, as well as those musicians who come here to play. We hope you enjoy. It's all about getting people together, enjoying the music, getting out, having some fun, but also educating people about the charities and the needs that our community really needs to have done. So it, it's beneficial for me as a person and us as a band to really help out with our community, with our music as well. People can find us online at Facebook Raised on Vinyl. People can also find us on Instagram Raised on Vinyl. I'm Chris Cromlin, I play drums, and I think it's going to take um, one chicken to kill an elephant if you do it right. My name is Lane Hannigan, I play rhythm guitar, lead vocals. I think it would take 32 chickens to kill an elephant. My name is Stefan Brigatti, and I play lead guitar and backing vocals, and I think it would take 2,000 chickens to kill an elephant. My name is Claudio Giovanni and I play bass for Raised on Vinyl. And I'm going to agree with Chris, our drummer, that it would take one chicken to kill an elephant. Based on, you know, bacteria and if, you know, salmonella and, you know, so, so I've kind of figured that out. I agree with him. I think that's a good, good theory. And I'm going to go with that. So one of the things that we all do have in common is our deep-rooted passion for music and our love of playing live. Raised on Vinyl's proudest achievement, I'd probably have to say, would probably be winning Best Song at the Ventura County Music Awards uh, 2019. 
Uh, one of our proudest moments is winning the best video award of the music awards in 2018. And honestly, the best achievement for us is the people who come to see us and that we really appreciate all the people who come all the way to see us and support us. That's probably our biggest achievement. I agree with Lane. Um, winning Song of the Year at the Venture County Music Awards, big deal because it was rock category against all the other categories. And I'd say that at this time, you know, rock is lacking quite a bit against other genres like hip hop. And, and uh, so I think it's very important that we won that award and, and there's gonna be more rock to come. And I, well, how did it happen? All right, come on, come on. All right, everybody, get ready for some reality because here it comes at you. So we're hanging out at the Music Awards, and I'm sitting at my table, I'm looking up, and Lita Ford's standing there, and she like looks at me for a second, so we're glancing at each other deep into the eyes, and I'm like, oh, cool. So I kind of give her a nod, and she gives me a nod. So some one of her fans walks up and takes a photo with her and sits down, and they do a selfie. So I'm like, oh, cool. So I walk over to her and I go, well, since you're doing selfies, I just get in her booth and I sit next to her and she whispers over to me, goes, I like your style. I'm like, oh, cool. You know, Lita Ford just said I like my style. I mean, she's like the first shredder from back in the day, right? So, so I'm sitting next to her and she's getting ready, I'm getting ready to do the selfie, right? She looks next to me and then she just starts licking my face all nice and slow as I'm taking the photograph. I'm thinking to myself, wow, Alita Ford just licked my face, right? You can't get any better than that. Until the end of the show, when the, when the guitar gets auctioned off, or the winner gets the guitar, and it's me. I got the Alita Ford guitar that night after getting my photograph and a licking from Alita Ford. That was a good moment in Raised on Vinyl history. It's because she liked the way you taste, bro. Of course. It's because I'm sweet. Best band advice we've gotten anywhere is practice, practice, practice. Also, continue doing what you love. Don't let anyone tell you different or try to steer you away from your passions and your dreams. Just continue what you love doing and eventually it'll all work out for you. I'd like to say that in some of our songs, you know, we talk about drugs. We've been plagued by drugs in our families. And uh, I have a son that struggles with drugs. And the lyrics of one of our songs, I'm talking about, you know, um, you know, if you want to go to the bottom, you got to start at the top. And that specifically uh, relates to my son and the amount of drugs that, that he's, he did at one point. And, and uh, you know, I was helpless to help him. So the, the whole drug problem is, is heavy in our minds. We're struggling with whether it's addiction, whether it's depression, 
A lot of people don't really understand depression and those who suffer from chronic depression and those who feel like there's nowhere to go but suicide, there is always help and there's always solution that you're never alone. And we feel like if anybody needs to, they can reach out to somebody and then someone will be there for them. So we want to see if we could get the shout out to all those who are helping each other and put the word out for those who might be in need because you never know who's around you might be suffering from that.